Hi everyone, Resin Dragon here from Resin Dragon Studios and Minchin was kind enough to send me a UV sensor for their Beagle Cam. And what we're gonna do today is show you how to install it on the Elegoo Saturn so you can successfully do some resin time lapses. All right, so here we are. Here is the um, box itself for the UV sensor. Comes with your quick reference manual. And here is the sensor itself. And then if you open up the bottom, you are going to have your USB cables and your power source. And here is some tape that they provide for you. And then also some double-sided, oh, this is Velcro, some Velcro. And then if you have any questions for them, they do have a website on here. And the website is minchin.net. All right, and then before you get started, you always wanna power it up just to make sure that it's functioning correctly. And you'll know that when you get the solid blue light. Okay, so after you have removed your protective cover and your vat, you are going to use a two and a half millimeter hex wrench to remove the socket heads. All right, and you're gonna wanna remove just the ones around the sides. Do not remove the ones in the middle. Those simply just hold the motor in. Okay, up next you're gonna use a two millimeter hex wrench to remove these socket heads. And voila! Okay, before we go any further, I would just like to say that Resin Dragon Studios nor Minchin are responsible for any damage that you may do to your machine to void the warranty. Once you lift up this cover, you're gonna to wanna to be very, very careful. You do not get much room to, to take this plate off. There is a ribbon that is attached to it um, that connects to the motor, and it's very short, so be very, very careful. Okay, so we've removed the top half and sort of pivoted it so that it's sitting on top of itself. This is the ribbon that I was telling you about. Um, it's kind of flimsy, so you just wanna be really, really careful, and it's only held down by some tape. Now, our entry point is gonna be through this back um, opening for the fan. You're gonna wanna loosen these screws here so that it loosens the, the guard enough to where we get some wiggle room for the sensor to come through. Once we get through, we're gonna tape it to this plate here so that it can sense the UV lights. All right, we're gonna put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape here. Okay, so we have went ahead and taped it to this piece of acrylic here that's right above the light bed. Next, we're gonna give this guy some power with his USB. Blue light is on, so that means he has power and he's working. And we're gonna turn on our Saturn. Now, if you remember, we actually ran the sensor through the back of the unit, through the fan hole. The fan is running perfectly, so we know that we're not hitting the cord with the fan. Next, you're gonna click on Tool and Exposure. And what this is gonna do is it's going to um, turn on the light to mimic a print. And when we do, when we hit Next, you're gonna wanna look at your unit for this blue light to blink three times. That means that it senses the UV light. And remember that piece of Velcro from earlier? It really does come in handy. So you just go ahead and attach one side to the plate here and the other side to the unit and stick it on so it keeps it from flopping around everywhere. And now you have a nice, neat access to your USB port. First, open the app and click on your camera. 
click on the options cogwheel, and then click on Bluetooth devices. Push the large button on your sensor until you get a slow flashing blue light. This is making the device discoverable. Click upgrade now if it pops up. Next, click the plus sign to add the UV sensor device to your Beagle camera. Now, click next to add the device. Click on your device and go to time lapse settings. Choose what kind of time lapse and your format. Set your frames per second and your minimum interval. Lastly, enter the number of layers on the model that you're printing. You can get that from the slicing software that you're using. And now you will start your print normally. And when the UV light turns on, it will take a picture on each layer. You will see this symbol spinning on your screen. And that means that your time lapse is recording successfully. Thank you for watching and happy printing. If you've learned something today, I'd really appreciate that thumbs up and a comment. And if you're new here, I hope I've earned your subscription. And in a world full of great ideas, what will you create next?